Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer. Welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling. This channel is dedicated to the Aki developed N64 wrestling game series, which was also published by THQ, such as WCW NW Revenge, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, and WWF No Mercy, which is the subject of today's video. And I am going to be doing another entry in my Call series, my Create a Wrestler series. And I am going to be showing you how I made draws. That's right. Draws. Look at him in all his glory. Straight out of WrestleMania 2000. Why am I making draws? Well, because his face was in WrestleMania 2000. Or I should say his face was carried over from WrestleMania 2000. So I'm kind of going through all the faces that were left over from WrestleMania 2000. All the characters um, that were left out for whatever reason. So, you know, can't skip on draws. Uh, <laughs> So there he is. Pretty good call. I mean, it's pretty accurate from WrestleMania 2000. Body, we're going to go with medium one. Keep it for the bare, you know, the basic skin color, the first skin color. Uh, head, male six. You go face, face, male 66. That is, draws his face. He's got his tongue sticking out there. Hair, braided. Give him a little braided hair. He had like a really funky hairstyle. Sort of like braids a little bit. Give it the fourth color, which is sort of the light brown. Facial hair, 22. His facial hair kind of creeps a little bit into his tongue, but whatever. We're going to ignore that. Matt Hardy is for the masks slash etc. That's the little chain he has around his neck. Nothing in hats and caps. They don't have his draws hat, unfortunately, in this game. Ring attire, cut jeans for exactly the same jeans he wore in WrestleMania 2000. I also should note that you can get that in the SmackDown Mall. See, the text is yellow. That means you have to buy it from the SmackDown Mall. Same thing as Tribal 1. Tribal 1, that's Draws' signature tattoo. He was all tatted up. He had a pretty cool tattoo design, actually. Uh, knee pads, jump tie-dyed. There you go. I mean, it's very simple, very easy to make, nothing too fancy. Feet Boots 01. I am emulating exactly how he looked in WrestleMania 2000 minus the entrance hat. You know, he wore that really cool, funky top hat, that velvet top hat he used to wear. Jaws also had, like, a lot of other different outfits. He had, like, plaided shorts he wore, and sometimes he just wore jeans. He was a little all over the place, but I'm going off of his WrestleMania 2000. You can change his colors of his jeans you want. He had a purple outfit. He had a black outfit. I mean, you could do that if you want. I just did it for the hell of it. You know, it's not really essential. Uh, you know, I gave him the Jericho shirt here. I'm going to show you uh, for his upper body. For the fourth attire, I gave him the Jericho short shirt because he always wore those kind of like sparkly type shirts too you know before jericho showed up he was jaws was doing it first uh and so you could do that uh, but yeah that's that's it again really simple straight out of wrestlemania 2000 as always with my call videos i like to jump jump into a match you know with the created wrestler again the moves the parameters the ally enemy all that stuff you can find in the description below so if you want to go ahead right away start making draws it's all down there in the description just click the link i save it on a google docs i got a spreadsheet for all my calls so yeah for your pleasure if you really needed jaws and no, draws and no mercy like i did and we're actually gonna play on no mercy because jaws didn't fight on many pay-per-views he only fought a little bit but he did have a match with steve blackman at the no mercy pay-per-view that took place in the UK, actually. It was the first pay-per-view that had the title No Mercy before the technically first. Well, you know, not technically, but I guess the No Mercy that maybe this game is based off of, I mean, the arena that's based off of, is the No Mercy that was held in October of 99. But originally, there was a No Mercy event in the UK, May 16th, 1999, and draws fought Steve Blackman. I should also note in that entrance, you saw there, Draws came out with Prince Albert. You know, I have him coming out with Prince Albert because that was really much what Draws was doing at the end of his WWE career. And I, I guess that's that's another reason why I wanted to make Draws is because he didn't last long in the WWE because if you don't already know about Draws' history, um, he was injured. Seriously career-ending injury that he suffered in a match with D'Lo Brown, it was during a SmackDown taping. It was for the European Championship. D'Lo Brown was the defending champion. I think it might have been at a SmackDown taping, but I think it might have been like a Sunday Night Heat match they were taping it for. I don't really know the details. You really can't find footage 
of the match of the in- injury because it happened at a taping and WWE's never released footage of it that I'm aware of. I mean, I don't know if some if somehow some way it eventually did get out, but I think to this day no one has ever really seen the injury. But what happened basically was D'Lo Brown and Jaws were in a match and they fought many times before. Very routine. Uh, D'Lo Brown went for his running power bomb that he does in the WWF No Mercy game is basically like the running Liger bomb, the same move, you know, the finisher that Ultimo Dragon did in WCW NW Revenge. And, you know, uh, D'Lo Brown would do that. And he did it several times, but for some reason, something happened, something went wrong. When Draws landed, uh, he landed incorrectly on his neck and instantly became paralyzed. He was, he became um, quadriplegic. So, am I saying that right? <laughs> quadriplegic. Uh, tough word for me to say, apparently. And that's it. His, his wrestling career was over in an instant. Very sad, very terrible tragedy. Um, you know, before he came to the WWE, he was a football player. Uh, he gained a little bit of notoriety because apparently during a football game on Monday Night Football, he puked. He was a defensive uh, player and he puked on the football before it was hiked on the opposing team. And he actually came into the WWE um, as puke. You know, if you've seen the Beyond the Mat documentary that came out, you know, a long time ago, um, there's a scene in there where Draz, he's meeting with Vince McMahon and they're trying to come up with a new character for him. So they want to go along with his ability to puke on command. So he's like, he's gonna puke, he's gonna puke. And he's like screaming at him to puke while he pukes in the trash can. Um, but it's, it's, it's another one of those cases of, you know, wrestling, these wrestlers, I think people forget every time they go in the ring, they're putting their lives on the line to do, to give us entertainment, to, to, to give us a show. And unfortunately for Draz, he only was in the WWE for two and a half years. His career came, you know, came to an end very quickly. So we can't say what could have been with Draz because we could never know. He was so green, so young. He was only 30 years old when this happened. I'm turning 30 in a month. So it's like, that's just terrible to know that you're going to be paralyzed for the rest of your life. But it's not all bad. Uh, Jim Ross recently did an interview with him. Um, he, he wrote in the article that Draz said that no matter what puts you down, in my eyes and in my mind, there is always another day. Just because I'm paralyzed and stuck in a wheelchair doesn't mean my life is over. I've learned to live again and my life is far from over. So if anything, what we can learn from Draws and his injury is that he's still living, trying to find happiness in his life and he's not letting something like that hold him down and you know he's still he's still alive today and obviously happy so i hope you enjoyed this video you know kind of a little bit of heavy stuff thrown into it when i'm talking about draws but you know another fun call for you guys i hope you like it as always i'm be better gamer thank you for watching this video you know what to do it's youtube like comment subscribe and until next time keep watching all the wrestling thank you